can't uh, you do it over? Listen, listen, we, we, if, if, <laughs> if, you, if you mess up, I mess up. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. We're Abs good. of October Red, and I'm yeah. absolutely delighted and honoured <laughs> to have a fellow Brummie, not only a yes. fellow Brummie, but somebody that Erica Badu recognises. We're talking oh, about levels man. now. Lady Lisha, welcome. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, October Red. You know, my name is actually Lisha. It's pronounced Lisha. Lisha. Yeah. Oh, so many you. people think it's Lisha because of the spelling. Yes. But it's, it's literally, it's a mind, it's one of those mind boggling things. Like you, when you read something, you think it's that way. Because I would read it and think it's Lisha, but it's actually Lisha because my real name is Malisha. You see, every day is a school day. This is it. So we're here in Coventry, not Brum, not but we're here, we're here in Coventry. Yeah. What brings you down here to the boxing? Because I've heard that this is not the first time that you've been to a boxing event. No, not at all. I, to be honest, I'll be at all the Misfits ones if I can be. Um, I love watching KSI fight. I think he's incredible the way he does. And he always proves people wrong. Um, and I've been watching boxing since I was a kid. I used to play fight night. That was my favorite game. So I've been in touch with a lot of boxing. Um, and to just be down here is it's an honor to be involved and like to experience it live because it's completely different when you're in the flesh and a punching you can see the sweat flying off it's different to the seeing it on the TV it is what it is isn't it so I always love to be in the moment with the people them so yeah talk to me a little bit about your career because I'm somebody that sat at home and looked because I always I'm very like patriotic to Birmingham yeah. I love our city yeah. we've got so much talent yeah. We but did. we're tricky people because we don't often back each other. So how did you manage to boss through in the music? Because we really don't. You know what it was? It was literally having to run to London okay. and, and not look back and not even rely on anyone. I've been around the likes of Vader who really helped me to, to shine and be put in places where I would never have been able to be put in. And... There was people that I just met along the way, like NODB, Deadly. Um, yeah, just certain people that were really helping me, like stepping stones and like getting me onto the next step. And then my ultimate thing was to just go to London and make a name in London. And then Birmingham would then all have my back. Because it's, it's, it was always like that though. It's always been like that. And I feel like I was the, the first one to go to London as a, as a grime MC and make a name and, and be saying 0121 everywhere I go. Do you know what I mean? So it's just great, but you know, I had to sacrifice a lot, including not being able to see my family, you know, not um, le losing all my friends and, and just being focusing on music and sleeping on people's couches and living out of bags and boxes just to make a name for myself and to get my mom a house. Cause that's all I ever wanted to do, you know? Yeah, but you did it. And there's so many artists, like I said, that come from our city. Cause we've got some talent. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are boss. But there's still some other talent and it just don't seem to be able to break through. So you saying that about, OK, I had to leave Brom, I had to go to the capital and make those sacrifices. You don't know who's listening to this thinking, you know what? Time to pack the bags. Yeah, no, 100 percent. And to be honest, I don't think you personally have to go to London anymore. At the time that I started, it was like not started because yeah. I've been doing music from when I was six years old. But when I knew that. Birmingham weren't really on the map and we had to go to London because London has always been the heart of music. Yeah. I had to go down there. You've got Mike Skinner, you've got Jamelia, you've got um, Mr. Hudson. Everyone's had to go to London yeah. to make a name. But as a female, black female MC that done grime and hip hop, I basically defeated all the odds. Like it was all, it was all like all the barriers that you could ever think of. And I, and I completed it. And I think now I've walked so other people can run and jog, do you know what I mean? It's easier for people to be it's like sit in their city and do what they need to do and build their fan base from where they are than having to do what I had to do, which was just a hard slog, but it was a pleasurable journey. But that mindset though, and you, you know, we're at a boxing match and fighters have got to have that will, they've got to want to win, they've got to, it's almost like a mental game more than it is a physical, yeah. but you've got that spirit in you for your ambitions and your dreams. Not everyone can do that. What makes you have that kind of mindset? You know what? I believe in God. And I believe anything that you 100% believe in will come true. doesn't matter if it's 10 years from now, 20, 30 years from now. If you have, and it's so cliche to say, but when you 100% believe in something, it will eventually happen, you know. I never thought I would make it. I just, I really? just, no, I, I, I knew I had talent. 
don't get me wrong. I knew I had something. I, I grew you up worked with, hard as well. I worked hard, 100%, but because of my, my voice was very, very high back then, like chipmunk high, helium high. And I knew, like, there'll be a time where everything is going to fall into place. I just need to do the hard work now whilst I'm young so I can just relax in my 30s, 40s. That's what I was thinking. And you know what? It's happened. And I think it's all down to belief and faith. I prayed and I believed that it was going to happen and it happened. I've got to ask you, Erica Badu, come on, one of the icons in music. She shouted out your track. She like appreciated your music. What was that like for you? Oh, uh, you know what? I, I nearly forgot about that. You know, you I reminded me. Yeah, you that. reminded me. Big. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Erica Badu. I just remember listening to you. You know you. <laughs> rap, rap, rap. And it's things like that where it's like it's a full circle. Mm. There's so many people that I've said in my lyrics. So many people that I grew up listening to. Missy yes. Elliott, yep. Nicki Minaj, um, even Lauren Hill. And they all know who I am now. And it's it's just so crazy how things can just change. And that's why you just have to believe. You can't think that you just, oh, it could never happen to you. Because you can be one of those people. The people that you grew up listening to. The people that inspired you to get to where you are now. So you have to just, you have to go with it, man, and believe in yourself. So what have you been up to now? I've heard somebody tell me a little bit about you getting into a bit of training. I don't know what you're jumping uh, on a misfit yeah, sting. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm doing a lot of training at the moment. Um, yeah. Now you know what it is? It's a thing. It gets to that point where you get a bit older and you just, I've been doing music for so long yeah. now, man, yeah. decades. And now I want to try different things. And I've always loved watching boxing. I've, I've, watched, I've watched it since I was young. I've played it since I was young. Now I want to get into it. Because I think I'm good. And I love watching Clarissa Shield. She's like my favourite female boxer of all time. Um, so yeah, like I just thought, let me see if I can do it. But I'm getting a bit hench though. I'm not going to look at my arms. What? Like, what? My guns. I don't like it though. Because it's like when you... It's that's the punch bag, isn't it? You've been doing like the rounds yeah, on the punch bag. Sparring and that. Okay. That's sparring. It's red zone when you have have to do like all strength and conditioning okay, and that yeah, yeah. it's a lot that i'm doing but it's great discipline like i've i salute and respect those bo those boxers out there right now even more than i did when i'm sitting ringside watching them because i i know now what they have to do all the pain they have to endure in the gym every day waking up in the morning running lifting oh, yeah. weights sparring hitting the pads all of that stuff now i actually understand how hard it is and how disciplined and focused you have to be you have to change your diet yeah. do you know what I mean you have to go to sleep with different patterns yeah. so I respect them so much highly now yeah. so what are you gonna do then are you look at when you look at is it obviously it's misfits who can say that they make quite a bit of money on the misfit side uh, but you know what your words listen yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're ready to I'm go on stage down, now. I'm down for anything okay. I'm down for if anybody wants to get me on their their boxing match let's go because the way that I feel, I feel like a beast now. I've, I've only been going for a month and I feel like I'm ready. You know them ones, so yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm going to say Misfits, you've got to get <laughs> this. Misfits, come and get me, man. <laughs> We've got to get this done. But listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Such a pleasure to meet you as well. Thank you. And thank you for those advice words about just really staying on it. Yeah. Ambition, dedicated, commitment. Yes. All of these things that the fighters have to do, you've done that you've proven it and got to where you are today absolute pleasure thank you so much thank you thank you oh. <laughs> absolute pleasure oh, no. people say i'm toxic and honestly i don't care